Thank you very much, Jack. Thanks to tenant activists and uh, rent control laws, I've had the pleasure of living in the same San Francisco apartment for over 20 years. And for most of those years, I've had the same mailman. My poem is titled Anticipators, and it's dedicated to Edsel. Next spring or sooner, Saturday delivery will end. Reduce to five, our days to speak in passing, you and I, of how our years speed by, and how your shoulder bag grows thin, hangs lighter now. How you anticipate new luxuries ahead, pleasure reading at last, Cervantes, Melville, Proust, no more reading zip codes through window envelopes, deliveries of birthday dollars, get well cards, unpaid gas bills, taxes. In July fog, we speak with awe of gulls, enormous crows on thin black wires above the blocks you've walked for years. And we agree, these flocks in recent years have multiplied have honed their skills in reading us and all we carry, all we drop. Thin stuff, transfers, toothpicks, gum, deliveries from mouths or pockets straight to gutters, beaks. No wonder white and black they lurk, anticipate our moves, our scattered crumbs, anticipate jackpots from Tinkerbell backpacks six-year-old girls adore. Dear courier, you speak of daughters, grown in cubicles, reading sleek screens, phoning across time zones, delivering their news, quick bursts of syllables, adieus, and then silence for weeks sometimes, perhaps a thin dribble of lines emailed, attention paid elsewhere. We nod. We know deliveries wane, cease, as seasons alternate, and years like crows fly past. We carry on reading. You bring the bundles to my door and speak of days to come, days full of books that speak a language almost lost, deep stillness, then deep clarity, a trance only reading calm hours will weave. We each anticipate a lightening of load, unhurrying of years, time ripe for reverence, Deliveries within, unpackaged, vast, special deliveries, so to speak, birthed by doorstep years, reading and sorting the quotidian, signed, sealed. Thank you.